Robots are expected to play a key role in the future of policing. Around the world, police departments are increasingly deploying AI-powered robots amid rising threats and staff shortages. The global security robots market is projected to reach $44 billion by 2030, growing at a compound annual rate of 15%. The shift is supercharging police work, unlocking new powers of prediction and precision, but also pushing the boundaries of privacy and control. Thailand's Songkran Festival is famous for massive water fights and street celebrations, but it also raises serious public safety concerns each year. Large gatherings can lead to petty crime, violent incidents, and overcrowding. In 2024, Bangkok authorities installed hundreds of closed-circuit television cameras to spot pickpockets and wanted criminals and to monitor crowd density. The high-tech push was part of a bigger government effort to use artificial intelligence for safer tourism and public events. Against this backdrop, Thai authorities just unveiled the country's first AI-powered police robot during the New Year festivities in Nakhon province, which is just west of Bangkok. The robot, named AI Police Cyborg 1.0, was stationed on Tan Sun Road during the April celebrations. According to Royal Thai Police, the wheeled robot features three 60-degree surveillance cameras within its head and torso, allowing for panoramic monitoring of its surroundings. The robot's AI computer instantly processes live video. The police cyborg serves as a node in a large surveillance network. It's linked to the city's closed-circuit television cameras and aerial drones. For communication, the system links directly to a provincial command and control center through a wireless network, which streams analyzed data and alerts to human officers in real time. The robot scans faces and crowds, comparing them against a blacklist of suspects, wanted criminals and individuals flagged as high risk. If a match is found, the system alerts nearby police to intervene. If a suspect is identified, the robot can track the person's movements across the venue. The humanoid is also trained to recognize weapons and dangerous objects. Its video analytics software is programmed to detect anomalous or aggressive behavior, so maybe physical altercations can be stopped before they get out of hand. In China, several advanced robots are vying to become the country's top Robocop. Unitree's G1 humanoid robot is becoming a popular platform for departments looking to experiment with robotics. Standing 133 centimeters, or about 4 feet 3 inches, the G1 has been seen serving alongside police in Shanghai, Lozhou, Guangxi, and Hangzhou, where Unitree is based. According to Chinese state media, the Hangzhou Police Department has equipped the robot to detect hazardous gases during patrols. The robot works in community engagement and safety monitoring roles. In Guangxi, Unitree's robots have been seen marching in formation and patrolling alongside officers during large events. The robots are also reportedly used in high-end residential areas for smart surveillance in Shanghai. They monitor perimeters using AI vision and act as a community-facing presence to deter intrusions. In Shenzhen, police are working with rising startup engine AI to integrate its humanoid robots into its regular operations. Video clips circulating on social media show engines robots undergoing regular training, assisting police officers on the streets, and interacting with the public. The robots are now being actively used in the Nanshan and Fushan districts for grid-based community work and law enforcement. The PM1 Humanoid, introduced in December 2024, is a lightweight robot intended for research and development applications. Engine touts the robot's customizability and its relatively low entry price starting under $14,000. Standing 138 centimeters, the PM1 is a scaled-down version of Engine's full-sized humanoid robot, the SE1. Engine AI says its robots are designed to last 10 to 15 years before saying, I'm too old for this. Shenzhen has been experimenting with robotics for public safety for at least a decade. Early projects around 2014 involved surveillance robots in public areas for enhanced security. In 2016, a robot called Anbot or Shenzhen Xiaoan in Chinese 
began patrolling the Shenzhen Beiyuan International Airport. The security robot, equipped with four cameras, patrols autonomously for up to eight hours. Anbot, developed by the Shenzhen Public Security Bureau and National University of Defense Technology, can recharge itself. Its capabilities are similar to robots by Nightscope that are growing in popularity in the United States for security applications. And Shenzhen-based Log On Technology produces spherical police robots armed with tear gas dispensers, net shooters, and other non-lethal devices. The RTG spheres weigh about 125 kilograms or 276 pounds, reaches speeds up to 35 kilometers or 22 miles per hour. With its amphibious design, the RTG operates on both land and water, including challenging terrain like mud and rivers. The AI-powered robotic spheres have facial recognition capabilities, GPS for precise navigation, multiple cameras, and ultrasonic sensors for obstacle detection. The devices have been deployed in Wenzhou, where it assists officers patrolling commercial districts. In the United States, Nightscope Incorporated is scaling up production of its autonomous security robots. Founded in 2013, the startup just announced it's moving into a new 33,000 square foot headquarters in the heart of Silicon Valley. Nightscope says it's adding another work shift at their factory to build more robots faster. The company recently reported over $2 million in new contracts, with especially notable growth in higher education, transportation, and the public sector. Nightscope autonomous security bots have been deployed by police departments and public safety agencies. The K5 autonomous security robot is Nightscope's flagship outdoor patrol unit. Standing over a meter and a half, the K5 is equipped with three 60-degree cameras with thermal imaging, license plate recognition, and real-time data transmission. The robot navigates using sensors and artificial intelligence. It patrols places like parks, parking lots, campuses, and transit stations without human control. The K5 also features a built-in emergency call button and two-way communication system for the public to interact with security personnel. The K5 has been credited with reducing crime and increasing situational awareness in the areas it patrols. In Huntington Park, California, police reported a 46% reduction in crime reports and a 10% decrease in emergency calls during its first year of patrolling a public park. The city renewed its contract with Nightscope for the sixth consecutive year in 2024. On the flip side, a pilot program in New York City's Times Square subway station was discontinued after just a few months due to limited mobility on stairs and platforms, high operational costs, and public criticism. Nightscope offers its technology as subscription services, typically around five or $6,000 per month for a single unit. The service includes remote monitoring via the Nightscope Security Operations Center. Robots are also expected to play a prominent role in the future of warfare. In the U.S., and Dural Industries is building the biggest weapons manufacturing facility in decades, with the aim of producing tens of thousands of autonomous drones. For more on that, check the related video.